Greetings, RC model geeks, and here we are in the shed yet again for part 32 of the Sarek Hobbies de Havilland, Canada Chipmunk build. Well, the postman's been this morning and uh, bought me a little package from Roger at Roger's Pilots and here it is I've not opened the bag yet but I thought I would save it for now so scale one sixth to bust and it's a 1950s style pilot Roger's hyphen pilot Dot co dot uk let's open the bag and let's get him out and there he is hey don't he look the part he's all latex all nice and soft apart from his head it's a bit harder <laughs> and he's uh, he's padded out with some like uh, some wadding so if you wanted to make your pilot a bit fatter you could put a bit more wadding in there and give him a beer belly that's what I'm going to do, make him look like me so let's drop him in to the cockpit and he's a perfect size he's a perfect size for the cockpit amazing isn't it Hey, <coughs> it's actually the size it's meant to be. Put the canopy over the top. There you go. That is pretty damn good. I'm liking that. That is coming together really nicely now. So yeah, thank you to Roger, you are a star, and I suggest anybody that wants a proper pilot for their plane, rather than one of these silly Chinese things with weird size heads and, and other bits and things like that, um, go and see Roger's pilots. There is his card. worth a look you can pretty much do every kind of pilot you can uh, you can imagine really for your scale model and they're beautiful uh, this is really going to make the cockpit and the plane look awesome all hand painted brilliant so yeah there we go one more part now, of course, if uh, if Mick Reeves had actually answered my uh, email, we might even have a nice um, instrument panel for this plane, but he couldn't be bothered. So, uh, yeah, makes you wonder, doesn't it? Right. So, on with the plane. Let's put this fuselage half out the way for now. Not required at the moment. And we're back on to uh, the elevator halves. Now, after I'd finished yesterday's video, I spent another five or ten minutes and I just covered one side of an elevator just to get it out of the way. So, uh, we've got the other side of this one to do. And then that one. Now, I've also this morning sprayed up the uh, horizontal stabiliser. Uh, and that is just uh, drying off in my uh, custom spray booth, uh, also known as the shed door. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, hanging on a piece of wire. There's nothing more to it than that. And I was using a rattle can to spray it with. Anybody could do that. Anybody could buy a piece of wire and a rattle can and spray something. It ain't difficult. 
Right, I'm going to get on and uh, and carver, and I'll come back to you uh, when I've done a bit. <laughs> right. Good. <laughs> uh, Bixler Phil's here, and that always means there's trouble. Well, it's my idea. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, it was part of your idea, mate. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> I've showed Phil the pilot, and he goes, oh, look, the head moves. <laughs> and he was right. The head is uh, separate from the body. Yeah. And so then ensued an idea. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we had to do it. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Uh, I do like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go. We now have a pilot <laughs> with a, a moving head. And do doesn't with, he look brilliant? Could do with another one as well. Could do with another one in the rear. Thanks, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't have to. You don't have to speak. I mean, it could be non. You know. Oh, what? <laughs> you could be a miserable sub. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. So I mean, doesn't that look? The bollocks, eh? <laughs> oh. So, yeah, if you buy one of these Rogers pilots, you could do the same thing. Yeah. All it is is a, uh, a servo uh, glued to his head. And I put two rails inside the body to hold the, stop the servo moving around too much. And then shoved uh, the, like, the stuffing... Yeah. Uh, wadding that's uh, inside him, back up him. Yeah. And look, he even moves a bit like he's breathing. Look at that. You see that? Where the, where the yeah. servo's moving inside. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like he's breathing. He's a breathing pilot. Isn't that weird? <laughs> eh? As long as he looks where he's going, he's not, you know... <laughs> Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. We like that. Brilliant. He can go quite fast as well. Oh, his body does move like he's breathing now. Yeah. Yeah, it is packing in there better. But the uh, the principle is good. We've just got to secure the... Uh, the servo in there better. Well, unless you want sort of random movements, then you just leave it like that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, pretty damn good. <laughs> uh, there you go. Yeah, the servo's moved. But, yeah. Um, prototype. Prototype, indeed, indeed. So, yeah, like I said, all I've done, if I pull the wadding out of here... Oh. Yeah, you can just see there's a servo down in there. Yeah. Uh, connected to his head. So, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty easy to do. Once we work out how to secure that in there better... Uh, it'll be even more awesome, but doesn't need it good. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to have a pilot now with a moving head. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And so that's he, it. As he goes by, as he looks at you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's got that snooty look, isn't he? He's looking up a bit, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh yeah, lovely. Right. Oh look, he's he's in a cloud at the moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he must have crashed. <laughs> oh, look. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> right. Uh, normal viewing will be resumed probably when Phil's gone home. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going home. Oh. I haven't delayed you enough as it is now. I know you have. Well, you made me do that. <laughs> well, and it took half hour, didn't it? Less than that. That's oh, good, doesn't it? To uh, to do that, and uh, yeah, just glued it straight onto the end of the. Yeah, turbo. just just glued the uh, output arm to the bottom of his head. Yeah. Bit like you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, back soon. Yeah, then, Rob. Cheers, mate. Right.
done a quick bit of tweaking to the mounting of the servo and now we've got full movement of his head. wicked <laughs> right that's it back to uh, doing the covering right so finished covering the tail plane there and I've also uh, sprayed it with uh, uh, with uh, primer so that is all good so the next thing to do is glue in the hinges so I'm obviously using the old barbed hinges here and uh, like I always say don't forget to grease them up around the swivel part yeah then when you glue them in and the glue seeps out it will not stick the hinge together and even if you get glue around it you can ping it off easy when it's dry so that is the next thing get the four hinges glued in the elevator halves first uh, and then when we've done that and they've gone off we'll then glue the elevator halves into the horizontal stabilizer and we will also be gluing in the joiner at that point. So that's the plan. Let's see uh, how it goes. Okay, we're getting there. So I have uh, glued in the uh, elevator joiner and then just slid everything back together again. Uh, and let that glued off just so that the joiner is lined up perfectly uh, once that's gone hard I'll then just remove the elevator and then put some glue in the holes in the uh, horizontal stab slide the whole thing back together again uh, and then the, uh, the cell plane will basically be finished so yeah, it's uh, it's getting there. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to mix up some glue and uh, and get it done. Uh, we're not far off at all on this uh, elevator or horizontal stabilizer. The uh, the two halves are lined up perfectly down there. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but yes, they're lined up spot bollock on. So, uh, yeah, it's all looking pretty damn good, even if I say so myself, which I do. So, um, yeah, oh, um, uh, roll of honour for the day, a late, uh, late arrival <laughs> is uh, Stephen. Uh, thanks very much for your uh, donation there. Um, brilliant. Uh, as I keep saying, the generosity of people that watch this channel is uh, amazing. Uh, and that's including, of course, uh, Roger, Roger's Pilots for uh, this little beauty <laughs> and uh, my modification. Uh, that's going to look great in that cockpit. And don't forget the Big Shed campaign. Uh, hopefully next weekend I'm going to go over and have a look at a... Uh, a place where uh, the shed is likely to go um, yeah let's uh, hope that uh, that comes off and uh, yeah right I'm gonna carry on and, uh, and and get this glued in right oh well, second time of making this bit of video oh. uh, yeah so there we go she is done up down up down up down up down up down up 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 down all good it's all in line i showed that already don't know probably not it's all in line it's all good and that is done so we can put that to one side for now obviously that's got to um 
that's got to be glued onto this uh, top half of the fuselage, which is here. Um, it's going in there like that, right? Now, what we've got to do when we come to glue this on, once we've got our position right, we need a mark on uh, on the horizontal stabiliser, top and bottom, where we need to uh, remove covering, because obviously we don't want to glue the covering, it won't hold. We've got to glue wood to wood. So we'll mark those positions onto the covering, offset it slightly, because we don't want to see uh, bare wood. So we're like um, you know, about a mill inside of where we actually want it. And then we'll um, melt that away with a soldering iron. Uh, you don't want to cut it with a knife. If you cut it with a knife, uh, what happens is you tend to cut through the covering and into the wood, and that weakens the wood. So you want to mark where you want to, your covering removed and use something like a soldering iron to burn through it or melt through it um, and then you don't damage the wood underneath but anyway that's for another day uh, yeah we're gonna call it a day now and uh, have another go probably uh, tomorrow and do a bit more but see she's slowly coming together it's creeping up on us you know uh, yeah all looking uh, looking good so I've got some other things to do now, so um, I'll get them done and upload this video. And I'll see you all in the next video, hopefully tomorrow. Don't know what we'll look at tomorrow. Um, yeah, there's a little bit more actually I've got to make. Uh, just thinking about it. Let's pull the drawing out here. If we look at the drawing here, Oh, well, it'll show, I don't know. This little bit here that goes underneath the rudder and on top of the uh, horizontal stabiliser, we haven't made that yet, so we need to make that. We've also got to make this tail cone, but we might save that till a bit later on. <sighs> God. But, yeah, we've definitely got to make this little fin here. So that's pretty easy, it's only a bit of sheet. But we could get that done as well. Maybe get that done and get it stuck on the uh, on the uh, horizontal stabiliser. But that is it for the day. So see you all in the next video. Like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget Sarek Hobbies. Without them, we wouldn't be building this chipmunk. And uh, what a great... Um, uh, plan pack shall we call it it is really enjoying this build people have asked me what do I enjoy building most well it has to be scale models I think um, yeah I quite enjoy building scale models um, yeah anyway see you all tomorrow sarretcobbies.com I think go and have a look and also thanks to uh, Roger of Roger's Pilots it's goodbye from the captain here. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. Thank you for watching Captain Rob's RC Model Geeks. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that like button. If you want to see more of the same type of videos, don't forget you can subscribe. If you want to support us, you can use PayPal paypal.me forward slash RC model geeks if you want to contact us you can email us rcmodelgeeks at gmail.com we look forward to seeing you in the next video